What is up guys, Madman12 here and today I'm going to be doing my little quick review on Alex Kidd in the Miracle World 2. Again, I got to give a shout out to Ian Wall for all the hard work that he's done and the people that of course helped him also with the game, the music score and everything. This game, I, I rated 5 stars. If you haven't played the first Alex Kidd in the Miracle World, make sure that you do play it and also don't forget to get this one and play it too. Again, get yourself a console. If you can't get the console or the game, the physical game, get the ROM. Play it, you will not be disappointed. The graphics are amazing. The Sega Master System is definitely a great gem to have. And again, this game, the replay value, I can picture myself playing this game today, tomorrow. I can pick it up, put it in the console today, tomorrow. Um, the game is very challenging. You get a lot of new enemies, great story. 16 rounds it may not seem it sounds a lot of course um, But it may not seem like it's a lot when you say it that way But when you watch the full gameplay, you know that I did on the first Alex kid and this one with no deaths uh, It was pretty challenging. It's a fun game brought back so many memories the first Alex kid Playing this one. I played this and beat it about six to seven to eight times probably right around there I mean that's how much fun the game is and I do appreciate the hard work that went into it um, a lot of the things that make an appearance in this game is the little scooter bike, the pedicopter, and of course the new one is the little propeller plane, which you fly across the water, which I thought that was pretty challenging. There are other levels which you will find. It's kind of intense with the enemies where the way they were placed and how you maneuver is up to you. You can quickly die if you're not, you know, really quick and paying attention. It's just one of those games. It has that Super Mario Brothers feel to it. And you can see here, he's on the bike. So the newest thing again is the propeller plane. And the differences with the first Alex Kid and this one is that the first one, you get to fight a lot of the mini bosses, the Jaken bosses, um, his minions, where you do the rock, paper, scissors. That's not present here and that's cool. Um, either way, it's still fine with me. But again, the love I have for this game now is just, it's literally locked into my memory and locked into my heart now because it's just one of those games. And it's a shame that, you know, I wish Ian Wall would have been working with Sega and this would have been an official release because the way he released the physical copies, again, the artwork, the quality of the manual, the poster, everything, it took a lot of love and, you know, he just, he just has so much affection for the game. And it's great to see a lot of fans, not just like him, but like me and everybody else who've played the game, who has so many memories of it. It's just, you know, it's, it's just a lot of nostalgia for everybody who's really played the game. Again, people who haven't played it, check out the full gameplay from the beginning to end. And of course, Alex Kidd in the Miracle World 2. Um, there's really not much more to say. The game is awesome. The buttons are just reversed. How you jump and how you punch are kind of swapped. But I got used to it uh, rather quickly. Um, at first it felt a little weird, but after that, playing it several times, you know, you get used to it. And yeah, definitely, I can see myself playing this game a lot. So this is it for the quick review of Alex Kidd and America World 2. Um, to me, there was an Alex Kidd that I felt was a part two. I don't know if a lot of other people felt that way, but it was an arcade game released by Sega. And then Sega released it on the Master System, which is called Alex Kidd and the Lost Stars. To me, that game felt like a part two, um, but it, not really, because it's not Miracle World. It's just, you know, of course, it's different. Um, the graphics are much different. But again, Sega put in a lot of hard work in all of their Alex Kids, but the aspects became a little bit different on how they did the Alex Kid. Everybody, I think, that was a fan of the game kind of wanted to see it in the sense of Alex Kid in a Miracle World, but like in different worlds. And, uh, you know, I don't know, but I honestly, I, I got like Alex Kidd, I guess in Shinobi World, I haven't really gotten to it because I've been playing so many different games, but again, stay tuned for so many other video gameplays coming up, and this is it for my short, quick review, again, of Alex Kidd and a Miracle World 2, I hope you guys enjoyed this short review, like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, guys.